was when we were here? November. So there was still abundant growth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What size is this house? This is a 30 by 80. First thing you notice out here is our wrap. Where we had 55 holes in a 2x2 two two area, we now have 32 holes in a 2x4 area. So our plant density is greatly reduced. We're going to cover this extensively. At first glance, there's a, a tendency to assume that we're really creating a lot of extra labor by germinating the seed, moving it to a net pot, moving it to a 55, and moving it over here. But we'll demonstrate and give you the calculation so you can see what we've done with Tim and Suzanne and some of their interns have created is a system that gets us anywhere between 6 and 14 times more production per square foot than any other aquaponics system out there in the world. So, so that in high input of volume, increase in volume without having to build more infrastructure. We don't have to have 14 more of these greenhouses to get the same amount of growth. So we'll cover that extensively in class, why we use this spacing, how the spacing is developed, where your cost savings are, in, in starting with the, uh, the 98s, what we call them, that's where we germinated our seeds, it was 98, and we went to 55s, and then we come to 32s. And we'll cover all that extensively. Are these four feet wide? These are four foot wide uh, rafts. The tomatoes that you see here are now attempting, they just started blossoming again last three or four days actually these were planted last January they were left at the 32 density we have it we did we were building our trellises and we had we never thinned them uh, my wife got sick we never came back to doing it we've been planning on taking them out several times but every time we do they start coming back again and we keep thinking wow they're yeah. really gonna come back again so this Root. is at Root. least their Root. fifth level of production so we are all we are taking them out that's one of the projects next week they're a year old so I'm finally letting go of them the root mass if you want to try to pull up a raft they're heavy it's it's amazing the volume of roots that are, that are underneath there how many square feet of raft area in this house here uh, let's see this is 275 linear feet times four which is 4400 plants at this space we designed a little trellis area where this summer we grew tomatoes, we grew cucumbers, we grew watermelons on the trellis over here on the north side. So we didn't have tall plants shadowing everything else. Randy, this is 1,100 square feet. It's almost exactly what start, Zach started out with. Yeah, 11, it is 1,100 square feet. How many plants? 4,400 at this density. Again, right here behind Fergal is the input where the water is gravity flowing out of that fish tank. Now if you look back at that fish tank at that, through that window, you can see that where your feet are is lower than the output of that tank. So it is gravity flowing here. Down, over, down, over, down, over, down. Right here at the end is gravity flowing at ground level back down, back at the bottom of that fish tank and then we're coming back up. So that's where I say we're gravity flowing both directions. So this starts out high. Between a quarter and a half. You, you know, you're talking about between this yeah, this to make these to, to get your like your flow rate between between the rest of the flow rate gallon you know, gallon an hour. The, the flow rate flow is five rate gallons per hour, and it's the same that is the same in all of them. Two minutes? I'm oh, sorry. Per hour. Uh -huh. Yeah. How many? So five gallons, five per, gallons per minute. minute. So that's determined by. And the way we minute. test that is occasionally we take a five-gallon bucket, stick it under the the input of the tank, and if it's close to that, we say fine. It's it's not such a precise measurement that it's critical. What's critical is if we start seeing behavior from our plants, then we'll respond. We test it occasionally. We test it when we set it up, but we don't worry about it. We cover a lot about water quality and water testing first start you're probably going to need a small loan for the testing strips that you're going to go through because you want to test them every 15 minutes to see how it changed. We all go through that process. Then you go to the other side where you go by the, the appearance of your plants, the smell, the sound, and don't need to test nearly as often. You 
get comfortable with how strong these systems are. Uh, at some point, I'll cover the story of how I killed 2,500 catfish. 2,499. There's, <laughs> there's still one in there, at least. We thought they were all gone. Now, right around here, somebody's supposed to ask, how much do you have to slope the trough from this end That's down to that end? That's what I was getting ready to ask okay. if they were level well, or... here's what happens. There's such a big chunk of water in here that you don't have to slope it at all. It needs to be dead level from this end to that end. Dead level. You get it off, and it's off by that much. I, I've got troughs that are off two inches, and there's no way you can make the water go that much higher. Your rafts are just that much lower, and you've got your trough like that. Yeah. As Randy said, it comes in here first? Yes. Okay. And he made this trough about a quarter of an inch lower than that, than that one, simply because he wanted to make absolutely certain that it was a downhill flow. You can make them all perfectly level, but if you're a little sloppy with that, and that one ends up an inch and a half higher than this one, it's going to be the same water level in there as in there, and your, your rafts are going to be that much lower, and there's nothing you can do about it. Water's very simple stuff. It only flows downhill. And the flow rate is so low, and the pipes, these pipes are so big, that it just, it just equalizes. When you first see this water coming in here, it'll take two hours to get from this end of the trough down to that end of the trough. So it's nothing like flowing like a stream or anything like that. It's just... Well, this like watching it almost like that fusing. Yes, yeah, this one this one drives. This way you dock the recorder and Yeah, each one steps coming down this way just, yeah. just as an insurance policy. This way is where you're saying is the dead level. Right. Yeah. The roads. Roads. 